Greetings, mortals. I am, as always, the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Zira Survival. So, as you can see, I have a character. He came with most of the gear. I've changed out the helmet, got a backpack, found some guns. And as far as I can tell, this game, survival-wise, you have to drink, you have to eat, you have to obviously have meds and shoot things. It's along the lines of stuff like Scum, that survival game versus big robots, because you can see a little bit over there. And, um... What was that game with all the zombies and the murder? Oh my god, why am I having a massive blank on it? Anyway, the game where everyone know, gets killed, usually by humans. But yeah, as you can see... The enemies in this game are robots. That's my first actual meeting of a robot. They even spot him until then. The map... Oh, so this is... Voice muted. Oh. That was my map a second ago. Okay, so I can't really go onto my map because now it's apparently my mute button. N space bar P. That shows you who's currently on. I'm currently on the um, European servers. The map isn't too big. I've done quite a lot of distance. Obviously, from what I can gather, the civilized sections which I'm moving into have the most robots. So the idea is to scavenge, get gear, get more powerful, and not die. I only have 13 rounds with my G36. I've got a second backup pistol, but I don't have too much equipment. There was a massive explosion across the river earlier. That wasn't mine, okay. What's oh, this? So it sounds like there's some all sorts of crap currently ongoing. Just equipment, I have a metal pipe if need be. Okay. Keep exploring. There's other humans in the game. I don't know how PvP this is. It might get to the point where obviously players loot you for equipment. We know a G36. I'll take it as a spare. There we go. Well, yeah, I only have a single mag of G36. So if players are against me, I'm going to have to respawn pretty fast. Also, it says press E to open. Well, it's not telling you you have to hold E. So that needs to change. So, yes, it's early access. The game isn't out yet. I've I'm, I'm been playing it over, like, the weekend. I say I've been playing it over the weekend. I've been playing it on a Sunday, and it started on the Friday. So I'm already a little behind. There's another robot up ahead. There's combat going on somewhere to the right. Let's advance. As I can tell, if a thing is closed, you don't get a prompt, it's closed. What's going on over there? So obviously, these players have probably been playing for like at least Friday, maybe. So they probably have a lot better gear than me. And obviously, when that guy said why, I'm assuming someone got shot in their head. What's the armor mod name? I literally watched Soviet Womble play on it. That's going to annoy me the entire game now, because I was literally remembering it and talking about it so much, and now I can't remember the name now. I must just use it. But anyway, this game usually populated. Okay, someone has been here. Look, there they are. So there's a player over there. Don't know what he was shooting. Hopefully he wasn't shooting, obviously, people. Baseball bat. I'm gonna go see what that player's up to. Ah! Bloody, yeah, bloody humans! Jesus Christ! So, yeah. Killed by Benwick. So, yeah. There you go. Players are dickheads in this game. So, that's how the game's gonna be. It's a survival game where you look for loot and people shoot you. Ugh. I knew it was going to be that kind of game. So, some people would love it being that style of game. Because obviously my level up's lost, everything is now lost. That's a shame. It's actually not. Because... 
Who's he? Global Inventor. Really? Yeah, some people will love that kind of game. It's not my kind of thing, because it, it ends up just being all players are just assholes. Daisy! Bloody Daisy. There we go. I remember the name in the end. But yeah, I've, I've seen the games. You get groups of players who pretend to be nice and they shoot you in the back of their head. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's my style of game. It's a survival game. Ah, M now works for map. Are you saying my M was telling me it was voice because there was someone nearby? Interesting. So now we're going to leave the safe zone. Lost all my gear, as you can tell. I don't have any of my equipment anymore. So that asshole's gone and looted me. Oh well. So we'll see how things go. Cause I'd like to see if the enemy is anything more than the walkers. Now, I'm assuming the enemy isn't the walkers because I brought one down with a pistol. The problem is going to be the other players after your loot. Now, if there's base building, then there's a game. Because obviously, you need something to tie you to your community. It's all very well jumping into a game, surviving and leaving. But all you end up doing is the same thing over and over. If you have a base somewhere... Holy crap. If you have a base somewhere, the hell was that? There's zombies in this game too. If there's a base somewhere, obviously people get get um, band together. Communities and raiders get together. Like that guy was saying in the chat. Survival games are more fun with other people. Like, in the end, you may get tired of being killed, so you join up with the person who killed you. Or you join up with someone else who's been killed by them and take him out as a group. But you do need a feel that there's something more than just casual murder. Like, I love the games. Like, I love the games where you come together completely spontaneously and work together. And then you all go your separate ways at the end. I want to know if, that's this, if you can actually have that kind of situation. Because right now, I've got no equipment. I'm... You know, all my gear is gone. I had to respawn. I respawned with even less gear than I started with. I actually started with night vision goggles and full equipment. Didn't start with a gun, had to loot that, but we did start with some equipment. Come on, any gun in here? A crowbar. Better than nothing, I guess. I can beat the robots to death. But yeah. So obviously, like I say, I don't know what I'm expecting, obviously, coming into this. But it does feel like Scum and Daisy. Actually, Scum was a good game. I like the robot designs. That's a flare. I'm walking towards it. That means I'm going to get shot. I don't have anything useful. Is it shifting? No. Doesn't use Oh, I'm heading towards a supply drop. That's not good. I imagine it'd be more action-packed and squaddy when there's more troops on the ground, as it were. This is obviously early access. I'm recording it early-ish in the morning. I say early access, open beta. And being on the EU server, yeah. Yeah, then look, this is the map. As you can see, I've walked from there to there. It's taken like a couple of minutes. So from one side to the other, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I'm not sure that's going to be how the size of the map is. Because let's face it, it is an open beta test. It might be a bigger map in the future. But you got to bear that in mind. Oh. I'm going to get shot in the head. Shot in the head. Okay, got water, clothes, got a gun. Move. Got a backpack. I missed my old backpack. It was a bigger one. Okay. 
Get my gun. I got a gun. Okay. There we go. So back in the field again. Got a gun. Got equipment. As you can see, I haven't really spotted anything. Now I know it's not a populated area. You only can see a road in the middle of nowhere. But in the city, obviously there were robots. There were obviously a lot of players wandering around too. Like that one guy we were following before. That other guy was camping in that bush. Sniped us. I would say sniped. I think he killed us with a pistol. It's a very bad aim. I'm still getting used to the control, so it won't be the best aim of Although I'm never having this kind of game for some unknown reason. I always get really, really tense, like the lot, like the worry of losing all my gear. So I tend still, but I just don't play well. Always been that way. Never known why. Let's check out the form. Very empty. Can I jump over this? I'll be honest, the sounds in the distance are more akin of a horror game than a survival game with robots. Like that weird thing earlier about probably chipmunks humping and there's a wolf over there howling. You, I'm definitely more worried about the Blair Witch attacking me in this house than I am with robots. Also, as you can see, the day-night cycle has gotten dark as we've walked over here. That player is saying it's fun when the servers are full. Looks like it is a crafting system, because that just, just says cloth. This is a very empty house. Uh, hopefully they add furniture into this game. My god. Feels like PUBG. As you can see, because yeah, it's an open beta, people are trickling in. And they will be giving... Obviously they will be testing it out. God, that felt empty. It's a big square white room with some stairs. Oh well, let's head over to where the wolf sound came from, see if it kills us. So as you can see, I am levelling up slowly. I might even hit level 2 and that will be curious because obviously I've not hit level 2 yet. The character I died on had night vision goggles. This character has not even a balaclava. It is easy to hit, I think so. I press all take his rich shoulders. I'd love to go to first person mode. Oh, burst fire single fire. Okay. X changing my abilities. Oh, there it is. See, he was aiming me in first person mode. I could have killed him. I had a better gun than him. I could have killed him. And this is also why you do not record a first impression as a literal first impression. I'm still trying to learn the game while also telling you how it works. But yeah, it's very empty. That's why most first impressions are at least an hour or two in. Because at least then I know how to play the game in rough, roughly what to expect. A true first impression, you don't know if the guy knows what's going on. I've got another crowbar. I can build a crowbar armour. No robots at this farm, no. I mean, I'd like to be proven wrong by one jumping out. X. Every time I pick up an item, I level up. Okay, so picking up gear levels you up. I'm not going to start collecting crowbars, no. That must be weird. Oh, MP5. We got backpack, backpack. Because he's looking. Not seen a damn thing. I can have some equipment, I could level up. Raining. God. So there is weather effects, there's obviously day and night.
I don't know. I'm not Riverton. There's probably some enemies here. Oh! That's gunfire. That's gunfire. There's a player in the forest, in the actual road. What if the explosion I saw before I started recording was a grenade? I like the third person for the view, but obviously... Oh, it's a light. Oh, football helmet, because obviously I don't have a helmet anymore. MP5. I miss my G36. Oh, there's another robot. There's a helmet. So yeah, it looks like the robots only exist inside the civvy area. Oh, they've got grenades! That explains explosions. Okay, the red ones explode. I'm learning. But as you can see... There we have a large backpack now. It's just... I don't know, it feels very empty. I think the main draw of this game will be other players trying to kill you. That just took three to kill. Oh, I'm level two. No idea what that does. Crafting. Let's see, I can craft some gauze, some bandages. I can craft a drone. I had a drone. Before I died, I had a drone. I wish I'd used it now. Crowbar. Nine mil. The noises are very weird in this game. But yeah, the enemy is never going to be these robots unless you get surrounded if there's enough of them. It's definitely going to be uh, someone sniping you for your loot. Now, I could be wrong. There could be something bigger in the centre. But right now, in our second town area, with that one being literally in the centre, because we were in Regville when I died. And so far, I've got the same enemy. Only now, one of them explodes. There we go. The pipe has been deployed. That's good. Last one gave me super cool, super stuff. But yeah, Into canteen. Good food. Why do you all say good food? Is there like a police uh, station I can go somewhere? That says good food too. There's that one. Huh. Okay. I also have one of these. And before I started, I was at a train station, and it had like a hmm, that weird how that weird beeping howling thing going on is really putting me on edge. Really putting me on edge. I'd love to find out some kind of hunter robot, but I feel like it's just some kind of zombie. Damn, I use some MP. And a baseball bat! That robot tried to kill me the baseball bat. Thing is, um, the problem is, I'm shooting. And as we found out, the robots aren't the problem. Shooting the robots is the problem, because now people know where I am. Can't believe it took myself to remember Daisy. So yeah, as far as I can tell... Let's uh, see my chips. Uh, drink my soda. Don't drink it or drop it. Yeah, drink my soda. 
But as far as I can say, as far as I can tell, the map is not very big. Like Daisy, you had cars and bikes and things. Because obviously, that was built on the armor engine. Oh, G17. I, I can do with having another one of those, but I can dual fire them. I'm not jumping yeah, there we go. There we go. So yeah, we'll keep on going. See what we can find. Like if I die, I die. It's not a big problem to me. I'm not be coming back to this game. I'm not the biggest fan of the game, like I say. Why is that howling every two minutes? I'm not the biggest fan of games where the enemy is literally other people, but it doesn't really give you certain things. Like Basically, you'll be killing other people just because they might have better loot than you. And you'll probably be torturing newbies because you've got nothing else to do. I actually really enjoy that. Just not my kind of thing. There we go. I can't believe I thought that was a person. I missed my combat gear. I wonder why the first player you spawn in gets combat gear. Was it because it was a beta test and I was invited? Very curious. Very curious why I didn't get all my gear a second time round. That's like keys. Key one. Suddenly there's intrigue. Why key one? What does key one do? Very interesting. So there's a key one. It must do something. Maybe there's a secret thing. Maybe we need four keys. I'm not going back there. Maybe we need four keys to be able to open some kind of super secret nuclear base. Maybe it's a car. Maybe it's just someone's bloody house. Who knows? Turns out it opens a lunchbox. You get a sandwich. But I keep going to the forest. Obviously, I've gone into the city centre and there's a few robots. I've gone into a town and there was robots. In the forest? It looks to me like the reason why they don't allow you to find anything in the forest is to force all the action to the cities, because there's nothing out here. Like, prove me wrong. Send the robot at me. Give me something to fight. Like, I played a game earlier, like Generation Zero, if you remember it. That was the co-op open world game where robots attacked you and that was really fun like they were patrolling the main roads occasionally had like a couple inside the tree line but obviously they were on the roads in the cities but they were some stalking through the trees right now I don't see anything and obviously when I'm hungry and thirsty I have to go back into, a, into an area of buildings to go loot which means I encounter players but no, there's not anything at all. Some big mountains. Can I go to those mountains? No, I can't. Wait, I might be able to. The Natar military base. Castle Rock Settlement. So there's two safe spots. Those are the red things there and there. Okay. There's a loot drop there. Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm getting some good frames. Every time a frame is really dropped, I start trying to get the whole view in at once. Like just now in a city loaded in. City. Like, I always think it's a town because it's developed, but it's not even a village, is it? It's only like 12 places at best. At best. My god, that noise. Whose idea was that as a noise? Sounds like an owl with a banjo. Let me play you the song of my people. The ling ding 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 ding. Could work on Varieta. So there's a bit of atmosphere in the sound of the music, which is interesting. This looks like oh, fuck, have I already been here? No, that was River Turn, not Rivers Dale. Okay. God, it feels like the same place. So there's obviously a lot of reusing of the same stuff. A lot of the assets are gonna appear multiple times. Okay, there's a play over there. 
Maybe he'll shoot me. We'll see. If he shoots me, whatever, I don't care. Okay, he didn't shoot me. Can I get up there? He went to shoot me though, I must have scared him. Okay, can't get up there. Like I say, if he shoots me, he shoots me. I don't really plan on doing any more with this. What the hell is that? I don't really plan on doing any more of this after this recording. But it's nice to know there are some players who won't immediately shoot you on sight. That's what you get. You get people who join together. Oh, drone. People who randomly kill everyone for loot. And obviously you'll get the noob hunters who'll go around trying to kill anyone who looks vaguely new. But we'll see how it goes. So... Apparently, if you press O, you launch a drone. You can also build a drone, because I found drone blades just before I started this. So I'm going to go hide behind a tree and look and use a drone, see what it does. There's definitely nothing in the forests. Okay, O. Pick up, up. Move up his space, down his control. B is detonate. This is what your batteries are used for. This is, makes it more interesting. So you can actually use it to detonate. I think the signal is how far I can go. I only have battery life. I did pick up batteries. That's interesting. Does the signal get worse the further away again? Yes, it does. Huh. But yeah, obviously this is used for scouting. There's got to be more in this game after this. Because, like, this feels very player versus player oriented, the equipment. Like, I don't think I'd need a drone to scout a city out with how basic the enemy is. It's got to be PvP oriented. Eject from drone is O. Okay. Wow, I'm not even holding a controller. Huh. Let's pick it back up. There we go. So that's the drone. So yeah, the entire thing feels PvP oriented with the robots added in as a secondary antagonist which you shoot and draw other players to you. I would believe otherwise, but I have yet to meet enough robots to actually cause me issues. The Exploder guys, even though he got close, didn't do much. Now, now five of them might have caused me an issue. Something hiding in the wars, like you suddenly see a red eye look up at you, now that would be cool. But I'm not too sure. Very empty. Very, very empty game. Again, it was nice that guy didn't shoot me. I was expecting him to shoot me in the head and end it there. But yeah, it's open beta, so there's a lot of things they can change. And we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, it feel, right now it feels... Without players, it's exceedingly empty. Like, the obviously the PvE element, the environment element, is extremely secondary. So I feel like... I, can I not go up that? Oh god, look at the jumping. Look like I'm about to say the hills are live, the sound of music. But yeah. Obviously the environments are reused a fair bit. Every city and town looks the same. Hopefully they change the, you know, so it's actually slightly more unique variants. As opposed to, you can't quite tell if you've been here already, because it looks the same as the last place. But yeah. We'll see how it is. Obviously the AI is... Like, I haven't run into a robot in like, ten minutes. Where am I? I'm back in Redsville again. So we've got Riversdale, Riverton Motel, Riverton, Redgeville, Pleasure Pastures. Who names a farm Pleasure Pastures? Who's having the pleasure? The horses? The wheat? Anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. And this has been Zero Survival. Or Exera Survival? Zero Survival. 
If you enjoyed it as always, give it a like. There'll be more first impressions. Oh, look, a robot at last. Is that a car? Did you just make a car noise without giving me a car? There's another rope over there, another rope over there. Maybe you can see. There's not enough to be a threat. There's four of them together. Yeah. But they're not. There's slightly more than there were. Load off. Yeah. Either way. Can't be going for the next couple of minutes there. You can't make car noises without showing me a car. Come on. The environmental noises really need to be changed. It seems very much out of place of what's going on. Bye-bye.